Hello everyone, welcome to my another Django tutorial. Today we are going to make custom template filter in Django. There are number of built-in Django template filter in Django but they may not be sufficient for all our purpose so we have to make our own custom template filter. So to make template filter let's go to our documentation Django documentation and you can copy that link in your browser and you can see how to make custom template filter okay now i'm following this tutorial and i have set up a small a small project which has only one page home page and in this page i'm going to show some real world scenario where we need custom template filter uh, we want to we have uh, amount in our rupees nepalese rupees and i want to convert the amount into the following currencies us dollar euro british pound indian rupees in my template okay so first of all let's go to our project uh, and let's uh, show what happened here there is a url there is a view i don't want, need model now uh, and in my views i want to send amount here and amount is let's make 10,000 okay this is in an RS um, I want to comment here I want comment here and um, this amount is in NPR okay Nepalese rupees and uh, mm, mm, we can get this data variable in our uh, here so let's write amount here okay so you can see there is amount and I want to write amount there also static amount and this is dynamic amount which is from our uh, backend okay view so let's refresh the page amount equals to 10,000 and uh, I want to convert this 10,000 into various prices okay so let's uh, copy it let's copy it uh, let's copy it and I have four amount this is in NPR I want to convert it in USD I want to convert it in European and I want to um, UD I think European dollar is Euro simply euro okay U R euro and another G B P or G B P or pound sterling dollar and I want to make a, another um, what uh, I N R okay Indian rupees so let's refresh our page but we can see all amounts are same Mm, amount 10,000 USD 10,000 but I want to convert this amount into USD Euro GBP and INR to make uh, to change this amount in uh, desired currency we need template filter here okay so let's uh, make um, a folder in our app that is template tags this is the guidelines provided by our um, Django documentation code layout in code layout we need app should contain a template tag directory okay our app should contain that template tag directory inside it we need init.py file so you have to make init.py file okay init.py file so it will be a module and then we need a file that um, uh, let's make curr currency converter in short form okay currency converter dot file we need to import template here from django import template and we need to define a register variable here let's um, define it template dot library we need to call that we need to make the object of the library and then we need to define a function I want to name it as convert and it should, to, uh, it should have two arguments here value and arc okay let's first print those value and arc here and we need to return value for now and we need to register um, we need to register that uh, function 
Mm, I want to name it convert and I want to pass this convert function here okay so you can see this syntax in here mm, here register dot filter okay register dot filter and the name of the template filter and the uh, fun function that will be called okay so now let's go to our home and uh, in home let's use uh, filter here okay this is the first argument value and for second argument we need to first of all we need to import load the template tag here okay load curl converter okay we need to uh, load this template tag and after loading this template tag we need to use that name of the template tag okay this is convert this is our template filter we need to use that filter and to pass argument we need to send here like i want to send usd okay so let's uh, run our server and let's refresh our page you can see that nothing uh, nothing is changed here but in your console you can see 10,000 and USD. This is the thing that we printed here in our template um, function. Okay, so uh, here uh, instead of printing the value, I want to check the arg here. If arg equals to equals to USD, then what should we do? We should define new value as new variable where we will uh, multiply the value with currency converter rate okay us dollar to npr is this so i want to multiply it with this value and we can use several elif condition here arc equals to equals to another thing maybe aud not aud we are not using australia mm, eu okay eu then new value will be value multiplied by what is the rate of the euro this okay so let's right here and uh, l if r equals to equals to g b g b p okay then new value will be value multiplied by the g b p rate okay british pound and also i want to use another r logic here INR okay in in case of INR we need to multiply the oh, value value by INR rate okay so this is the INR rate okay so now we have to return new value here so if we go to our home and use this filter all over the amount convert um, UST EU okay and again I need to copy this and use it here here GBP Great Britain pound and now here um, INR okay so let's refresh our page content invalid filter content there convert we need convert here oh. convert convert okay spelling mistake there so you can see that um, res 10,000 is equal to usd 84 euro um, this much gbp this much and inr this much there are lots of value after the after this point okay i want to round them um, in our currency converter new value should be rounded okay round and round takes a function and another is the position decimal with places okay now you can see that uh, round number okay so here 84.971.7263.93 and they are the uh, total so uh, Indian 6220 rupees will be equal to uh, Nepalese 10,000 mm, in this way we can make our custom template filter so if you have any confusion about this uh, you can 
uh, comment here and another way to register the temp filter is using register dot filter okay like this you can use this decorator in here so let's copy it you can also do it here and the name should be convert and these are exactly equal okay you can also do this now let's refresh our page it's also working here okay so you can do whatever you want and uh, you can also use uh, template uh, currency converter api converter api mm, for example mm, open exchange uh, open exchange rates these mm, these sites provide you api if you register there and you can convert your currency in real time here okay you need to face the currency and then uh, you need request library here to send http request to that currency converter api and you can do like that but uh, i am making it simple just multiplying it by today's rate okay so um, just to make your concept clear okay so uh, thanks for watching if you have any confusion comment here and i'll be happy to answer you thanks for watching